Welcome back, everybody. Today is day seven of the reading a page a day. And we're reading Lam Rimya, Making Life Meaningful Day by Day by Lama Yeshe and Lama Zuparipuche. This book has been compiled and edited by Alison Murdoch and Sandra Smith and has been published by Lama Yeshe Wisdom Archives. And it takes us through the graduated path to enlightenment or the Lam Rim based on the outlines developed by Paponka Rinpoche in his book, Liberation in the Palm of Your Hand. This is a non-rehearsed reading, and please excuse me if I make any mistakes in pronunciations or, you know, some mistakes. Please forgive me and let me start. Day seven, quote, there is the need for an organic living kind of force to come in touch with our heart, end quote. Lama Yeshe, text. The main reason that religion in both the East and the West has degenerated so much nowadays is the rarity of meeting good spiritual examples. If people never meet highly realized beings, they have no way of knowing the limitless possibilities of their own human consciousness. It is not enough that there are texts recording the deeds and accomplishments of past masters. By themselves, such stories cannot inspire us very much. In fact, they may only increase our feeling of remoteness. Quote, Buddha and Jesus lived such a long time ago, end quote. We may think, quote, and their purity belongs to another age. It is impossible for someone like myself living in this degenerate 21st century to attain anything resembling their level of purity, end quote. The only way we can lay rest to these feelings of doubt, incapability, cynicism, is by coming face to face with someone who has activated their highest potential. Only then do we have an example of purity and spiritual evolution we can actually see and relate to ourselves. Thus, the outer guru is of utmost importance. We need the example of someone who, while humans like ourselves, has developed beyond the bounds of what we presently think possible. When we see someone who has reached beyond selflessness, selfishness, who has transcended the petty concerns of this world while still living in the world, who speaks and acts from intuitive wisdom and who is truly dedicated to the welfare of others, then we can have faith and conviction that these attainments are possible for ourselves as well. The recap of the day. Religion has degenerated because of the rarity of meeting highly realized beings. We need the example of someone who has developed beyond what we think is possible. Seeing the great qualities of others gives us faith that we can have the same attainments. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And think and contemplate about what we read today. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.